Right, <clears throat> I'm going to set to and do this exhaust. But first thing, I'm going to take these nuts off. And as you can see, there the nuts aren't in brilliant condition. I mean, they still work, but they're a bit grubby. So I'm gonna. I've, I've got new exhaust nuts. I've got bags of them. So I'll put some new ones on. But I also want to take out the uh, the gasket. So. Sticking the pointy tool in my hand. Right, so that's the the old gas. It actually, looks as if there's been broken two in there. But that's the old gasket out anyways. So I'll get a, a screwdriver and just, uh, hope I'm not blocking your view here, um, and I'll just give a clean round in there with a, just to get rid of the shit. Um, but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to run a die nut up the threads on the studs because they're looking a bit, I'll see if I can get you a better shot of this yeah as you can see there if it focuses yeah they're looking a bit grubby so I'll run a die nut up there up the studs and uh, clean them off um, so I'll just knock you off for a couple of minutes while I get me, ratch me die nut out. Uh, I'll come back and we'll clean these studs up. Right, hunted high and low and I don't seem to be able to find my, uh, my die nut. And also the 7 16th 24 out of my tap and die set's not there neither. So someone must have fucking borrowed it and not brought it back. So what I've done, basically, as I've just gone round the threads, hope I'm not blocking your view there, um, and give them a bit of a scrape out with my pointy tool, um, all the way around on both things, and then I got the one of the new bolts, sorry, nuts. Get it to go on at the right angle. That's it. And it uh, it goes on freely all the way up. So not so bad. And I'll put a bit of uh, anti seize on threads when I start actually putting it together. So, actually I'll just check that one up there, it's a bit more awkward this one, when you're not at the right angle on it. That one's going on free enough as well, I can get the fucker to come back off. So, yeah, I don't know where my me, die me nut is. I would have preferred to have actually gone up each each stud with a die nut just to clean the threads off. But, as I say, I've cleaned them off a bit with a pointy tool. So, what I'll do is uh, I'll just knock you off again for a while. Um, and I'll uh, do this back cylinder. 
get that uh, the threads on that and cleaned up and then uh, when I come back we'll actually start fitting the exhaust system on so, right won't be too long right I've done the rear cylinder threads etc so now we're going to start fitting the exhaust so we've got new exhaust gasket <coughs> I'll get myself in a position I'll try not to block your view too much so I'll just push the exhaust gasket into place try not to force it because they're not a consistent thing isn't Harley gaskets some will just slip straight in nice and easy and others are just a tad on the big side and tend to want to try and roll the cells so what I do is I just get a a little punch basically just a, a punch and just slowly work my way around to push it into place and try, I'll move my head a bit, hopefully not blocking your view and I try to get it to go all the way down evenly without without it rolling on itself because I had it once before where I just pushed one in willy nilly and it, it, it sort of rolled on itself and it, I always had a blow from that uh, gasket until I could be asked to take it off and put a new one in properly right so the next step with this is I've got a bracket to fit at the back end so I'll uh, I'll move you, I'll knock you off, move you in a better position, we'll get the bracket fitted and then obviously from there we'll start with the with the uh, exhaust itself, so I'll be back soon. Right, there's a bracket that fits on down here, just uh, comes with the kit. Get out of the bracket. Right, so bracket, that's my light gone a cropper. Bracket bolts onto there and hopefully stays on better than that. So there's some bolts in here. Let's make sure they're the right thread. Because I've had that before where I've bought a, a kit specifically for the bike and when it comes half its stuff didn't fit. So, let's get them screwed into place. And these are these are like, uh, in a sense, self self locking. So if you look at the back of the the head it's all serrated so when you tighten it in it actually digs into the surface uh, to stop itself coming loose so I just need a, a socket which I might be lucky and actually have one here oh. I'm not gonna tighten these up fully Never tighten stuff up fully until it's uh, all together. Because you, if you tighten these up and then you want to move the bracket slightly, if you've tightened it up, you can't. So just nip it up until it. Uh, Find a ratchet would help. Just nip it up until it goes tight and then just back it off just a touch. So it's sort of fixed in place but it is you have got a bit of movement in it. So the next step is uh, I'll move you again 
uh, and we'll get the front the front pipe which will obviously come down and that will bolt to this bottom set of bolts rear pipe will bolt to the top set and what we've got in the kit is you've got these linked threaded inserts which slide they'll slide into a slot on the back of the pipe which in turn obviously when you line it all up it'll just bolt on onto there but first I've took the uh, the flange and the clip off the existing system because the new pipes didn't come with new flanges and clips not all systems do, some do, some don't so I've took the ones off the old system, I'll just give them a quick wipe over um, and then I'll come back and we'll get them fitted on and then we can start putting the system on the bike so I'll be back in a minute right I got a bit carried away and I've put the flange and the clip on the front pipe um, and forgot to put the camera on to show what I was doing but I haven't done the rear pipe, I haven't put it on so I'll film that rear pipe the clip and the flange going on uh, and it's basically the same on the front so so what we shall do is we'll start to offer this pipe in and it might block your view a couple of times here because I need I need to be able to see what I'm doing that's handy I'll just get the nuts on just loosely there again I might not it's the only thing with this uh, Stay there, I might be able to kick that bolt back out of there. And I might have to put it on a on a socket so that I can get it to screw on. So I'll knock you off again for a second. I'll just find the right size socket for these and I'll be back. Right. I'm gonna have to be uh A bit uh, dexterous, yeah, fucking ass. A bit, uh, I don't even know the right word to use. The socket won't go on. And what I'm trying to not do is take the heat shield off. And the way it's looking, I'm going to have to. And now I've got that fucker stuck. Right, I'm going to have to take the heat shield off and admit defeat. So, <clears throat> I'll pull the system back off, take the heat shield off, and then I'll come back. I won't be long. Right, back to where we were, but with no heat shield. Which will allow me now to uh, get onto the... onto the stud I've decided as well that what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit all this system on but I'm not going to tighten it up because I might actually buy some new flanges and plus if I need to take the system actually take it back off for, for any reason I haven't squashed the exhaust gaskets, so I can reuse them. Oh, then, what have I done with the, the other bolt? Not even. Oh. Uh, a 
הדברים. This is always an awkward one for me to get at, so I might just go from the other side. And I've just found the other nut. It was still on the punch that I used to get it off with. So now that that's on, Just wind it up a little bit, not tight. As I say, I don't want it. I don't want a tight system. That's where the other nut was, by the way. That's off the back one now. So the next bit is to put the bolts in at the back. Oh! So I'll switch you off, move the camera, and we'll get this uh, bolted up at the back end. Right, what we've got is this bit I was showing you before. That slides in up the slot in the back of the in the back of the pipe. And hopefully I'll be able to catch it. That's handy. Grab the other the other bolt. And there, I've still got a bit of play in the system. Um, so that when I do start to tighten it all up, I can get it to, uh, like, sort of just nip it on there, but so it can still move, and then tighten the front. And as the front tightens up, it'll pull this to where it wants it, sort of thing, and then I can nip everything up on here. So, apart from putting the heat shield back on, that one's in place. So what I'll do is I'll get the uh, the rear pipe, but this time I'll show you the flange and the clip going on. So I'll just be a minute. Right, flanges and clips. I've took the. Uh, let's turn this a bit so I can see. I've took the heat shield off this rear pipe already so basically just get your flange slip it over the top it really isn't hard at all and then uh, get your clamp clip sorry and just feed it over I use usually just use proper like uh, sir clip just open her up as long as it doesn't uh, keep thinging on you like that. Open it up. That's being a dick because I can't hold the pipe. Normally I'd have it in a position where I've... I'll see if I can stop it moving with... Basically, just get your clip on. It'll push on by hand. Clip it over. And that's it. And when it comes up, it all fits inside the uh, the flange. And that's it, basically. That's your flange on. So, we'll get this rear pipe put in position. 
and uh, basically it's exactly the same as putting the front on but it's going on the back um, so what I'll do is I'll just I'll knock you off I'll get this fitted and then I'll put all the heat shields back on and then I'll show you the system once it's it won't be tight as you know but it'll be nipped up enough that it's in position so you'll be able to see what it looks like right I'll be back soon right that's the the system on loosely so that's the new the new pipes with the with the covers on now the covers aren't tight I haven't tightened them up yet just put them on so we can see what it looks like so but what it does allow me to do <coughs> is uh, see where the handbrake is going to go or where I can fit it should I say uh, the, but the bracket itself might come in handy because I might be able to bring a a bit of a bracket up off that to mount, make a little plate to mount the handbrake lever on so we shall see so that's the exhaust system loosely fitted looking tidy so my next step is I'll uh, start making up a template to put these uh, rear calipers on, rear handbrake calipers and uh, get them fitted and start routing the cables through so for now we'll call it a day and I'll come back later Right, the bracket that I've made that you saw on the previous pictures is now bolted in place, handbrake caliper bolted in place and I've uh, connected up the handbrake cable but it's all, it's all slack, it's not fastened on anywhere but as you can see there's the bracket in the back and what I've done, these uh, bolts the original ones that came out, because I've put a 6mm plate in I've, I've got some bolts that were 5mm longer than the original ones so I've put them in to make up for the extra stick out if you know what I mean um, so the calipers just temporary bolted there, I won't be using them bolts but it uh, it's all It's all nicely, uh, I mean it's not, don't get us wrong, it's not finished yet. I've got another one of these to make for the other side obviously. Um, what I'll do is when I've got them all drilled, I'll bolt them all together and then I'll work the outside so that the, you know, with the, like with a flap disc and stuff and make sure they're both identical. But, the uh, one of the things I had to be careful of in here was and you can see that the disc bolts I had to be careful that the, they didn't catch the caliper because they're only I mean when I was measuring up in that it all looked as if it was a lot closer but it's about five or six mil away from the caliper so that worked out well the extra stick out with the bracket plenty of room I mean there's a good must be a good 10, 10 to 15 mil, 10 to 12 mil, sorry, gap there between the, the hub and the bolt head. So the bracket's gone well and uh, and it works. So I'll just uh, I'll just sit you on top of the tripod. Turn this screen so I can see. Zoom in a bit. Zoom back out so you can see the lever. So you've got the you've 
you've got this lever, you've got this lever here that you, that's what the mechanism just ignore the handbrake in fact I'll take it back off for now um, yeah that's that's the lever mechanism for putting the handbrake on when you obviously when you pull the handbrake lever and as you can see gets to about there where it starts gripping the disc and then once you get it to there that's it locked solid and then let the lever off and it releases so what I'll do now is obviously I'll knock you off again um, and I'll make another one of these brackets so what I've still got to do is I don't know if you can see it this block here that's part of the caliper on a car because these are this is off a company that do, uh, supplies parts for like race and rally cars the, these are spot called spot calipers um, they'd normally be on a lot bigger disc so it'd be further away from the center and that is where the handbrake uh, would normally go into but I haven't got the room to, to bring it round onto there onto that one so what I'll be doing is cutting that off so it's just not there and I'll be making another bracket that will fit on the back of here I'll probably end up I'll either bolt it on or weld it to this bracket but it'll it'll bring it just slightly off centre so that I can actually fit the fit the cable so it can run underneath here um, and I'll, mo I'll slightly modify this arm um, so that it's not like pulling it at a, an angle to one side I'll, I'll modify it so it can probably put a bit of a bend in that so it pulls it straight but that's that's for later on at the minute I'm just going to concentrate on getting another one of these brackets made um, and then get them as I say bolt them together go around the outsides so that they're both identical and then I can clean them up a bit and make them look presentable right so for now I'll knock you off again and I'll come back when I've got another one of these made Right, so that's the handbrake calipers now mounted. Made it obviously made the other side plate. So basically, what's to do now is work out the best route for the handbrake cables. But for now, that's it. So I'll call it a day. Right, catch you next time.